Hello, in this video we will understand the concept of DLP that is data loss prevention. What is DLP? Its key objective, the DLP approach, its type and finally top DLP vendor. So here we start. So DLP is about protecting, identifying and monitoring the exposure of protected data. So in short, the DLP term is actually data loss prevention. So it is about defending organization against data being lost, stolen or else leaked outside the organization's boundary or its perimeter. In that case, the key objective on which the DLP works include preventing the data leakage, compliance of its organizational assets, protecting its intellectual property, mitigating insider threats that may be unknowingly a user might be exposing the assets for the attack by the hackers or maybe unknowingly a resource may be exposing the setup for attack. And finally, secure workflows across remote locations. DLP approach. The types of data which are addressed by DLP. The first one is data in use. In this case, the data that is currently being accessed, updated, read or even erased comes under the data in use type of DLP. And as an example, we can give a user who is performing online banking transaction. That is a data in use type of DLP. In fact, other examples include data that is copied to a USB or else shared via application. The second one is data in motion. Examples are emails, file transfer, etc. And this is basically also called data in transit between two assets like storage devices are there and maybe internet or private network is there which is happening between two assets. And in fact, while in motion, data is vulnerable. Hence, need for DLP becomes paramount. Finally, we have data in rest. In this case, data like archive data or stored in hard drive comes under the remit of data in rest. Though data in rest is less vulnerable, but a highly valuable asset for hackers. Examples include the data which is stored in the database, cloud storage, etc. DLP solution type. So these are the three pillars on which DLP works. First is the network DLP. And it is about protecting network traffic of organization, especially inspecting packets that are sent and received. These include emails, web applications and protocols. Next is the endpoint DLP. And it is about protecting individual devices like laptops, tablets, desktops, and even mobile phones. Finally, we have cloud DLP. And it is about enforcing policies, detecting anomalies, and to make sure that regulatory compliance of data stored in cloud is provisioned. This includes public cloud, private, hybrid, or even multi-cloud setup. Key DLP vendors in market. So first one is the force point, which is known for its comprehensive security. Second is Symantec, which is now under Broadcom, and it is responsible for robust DLP capabilities. The third is the Trellix, which has got key four pillars of DLP, which is DLP endpoint, DLP monitor, discover, and DLP prevent. Next is the proof point, which is more of a cloud based and SaaS offering. Finally, Digital Guardian, which is known or rather its USP is content inspection of endpoints. This takes us to the end of the slide. And please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.